Hello and welcome to Istituto Lorenzo de Medici. My name is Hannah Schnatri and I am an alumna of the LDM Rome program. I'm Alex Salazar and I'm an alumnus of LDM Florence. I'm Megan Matheny and I'm an alumna of LDM Tuscania. It may sound cliche, but my semester abroad was absolutely life-changing. Because of that experience, I made the choice after graduation to return to Italy and to LDM. As a former student and current team member at LDM, I've had a unique perspective at all of the exciting changes and developments at each location. With all the new academic programs and extracurricular activities, future and current students of all these locations will surely have an incredible experience. Istituto Lorenzo de' Medici is proud to launch a new School of Agriculture, which is based on the Tuscania campus. This new addition to the LDM academic offering has opened new opportunities for academic and personal development to students in scientific fields. The new School of Agriculture is a particularly exciting development because it allows students to actively learn innovative agricultural techniques and methods in Tuscania. With the nearby University of Viterbo, LDM's School of Agriculture will fit well into this region's long academic tradition in the field of agriculture. The mild climate is influenced by the proximity of the Mediterranean Sea, meaning that agricultural activity is nearly year-round. Locals are engaged with nature on a daily basis, which allows them to find innovative ways of interpreting and utilizing traditional agricultural activities. In Italy, we have a concept of kilometer zero to describe the produce that times to obtain a high quality food that is organically and locally grown. Tuscania is the perfect place to study organic agriculture because if you are here, you are completely immersed in it. During the class, students will learn a different techniques that times to obtain high quality food and preserving the environment. Practice will be an important part of this course. In the fall semester, students will focus on organic methods of olive tree farming and olive oil production. The tradition of olive oil dates back to the Etruscans and students here will be able to walk among olive trees from the 17th century. They'll learn all the different techniques of taking care of an olive tree and producing oil. The spring semester will focus on horticulture. The students will study local farming methods as they take care of their garden. Week by week, they will follow the growth of their plants, finishing the term with the harvest, when they will pick the vegetables they have grown. They will learn about the importance of healthy soil and will understand why sustainable and environmentally responsible agriculture is so important in the modern world. Each dish of food usually comes with a story. Like this is, you know, this is traditional to this area. This is a recipe from so and so. You know, these ingredients came from a place that's really close to here. And so that's quite beautiful. It's not something that I normally experience at home. And it's beautiful because Farms in Italy really do a good job with being symbiotic with the environment. It's a lot more organic, organic of a process than, than I've seen in, in the U.S. We visited a slow foods farm and we got to participate in making some cheese as well as um, going and visiting where the animals lived and seeing a few of the gardens and that was just beautiful and very eye-opening. I've never seen anything like it. Students' knowledge of agricultural traditions and techniques will be complemented by the innovative course on multifunctionality of agriculture. It is a relatively new discipline which emphasizes the links between agriculture, economy, social work and other disciplines. The idea that the farmer is not only the producer of food products, but he is also the subject of an economic, social, political and territorial context has emerged less than 20 years ago. In this class, they will learn many functions that accompany the traditional food production.
Why in Tuscania? Because in Tuscania there are a lot of multifunctional farms. Students will see how the welfare both of those participating in these activities and of the local entire community and gaining a deeper awareness of the economic and social value of the agricultural sector. LDM Tuscania provides ample opportunity to become a part of the community. The material that these students will be studying will be put into practice as they observe and interact with the people of Tuscania. Those students who are interested uh, may be involved in the different activities organized at those farms, be it through animal therapy, rehabilitation projects or simply as recreation. I chose Tuscania because I knew that living in a small town would allow me the cultural immersion and the community interaction that I wanted from a study abroad experience. The town itself is gorgeous and LDM provides excellent first-hand experiences that embed you in the environment. So you're studying history, culture, language, agriculture, and you're all doing it locally. We use the city culture, this medieval culture, but we use especially the connection between nature and the old culture, especially these nature colors of uh, Toscania, the earth colors we try to translate into the watercolor technique. It's amazing just what you can do and what you can capture on a piece of paper and even you know more than what you can capture in a photograph because you're actually drawing you know and you're putting it into your memory you know to take back with you. Tuscania is an ancient Etruscan settlement sitting among fertile hills which are as rich in agricultural produce as they are in Etruscan heritage making it a perfect location also for the students of archaeology and creative arts. It's been wonderful because it, I'm at, oftentimes at my home university in big lecture halls, it can have a tendency where you're just a barcode and you just go in and you take your notes and you study and you pass the class. And here it's like a microcosm of an environment and you get to know everyone and, I don't know, synthesize your experiences together. There's a lot of like personal interaction with the professors, which is very nice. They like care about your development and your academic like just success. They are very, they're very helpful and you know very interested in getting to know us as a person. So, which I think is fantastic. From the idyllic setting in Tuscania, we now find ourselves in the equally intimate campus at Rome. I had a wonderful time here because the small size of the Rome school offers the perfect balance to the hectic life of the Roman metropolis. Study abroad can be an incredibly enriching experience, and LDM Rome has created an opportunity for students in STEM programs to participate in that study abroad experience. Thanks to state-of-the-art laboratories, students of biology, mathematics, and chemistry can make the most of the rich Italian scientific tradition while gaining practical experience in their field. The STEM program at LDM Rome includes courses in molecular genetics, general biology, organic chemistry and calculus statistics. 
It's a unique opportunity for students pursuing science majors to experience the Italian scientific tradition and modern practice while taking advantage of studying in an international setting. By being closely followed by the highly qualified, internationally educated researchers at the University of Roma 3, LDM students benefit immensely from one-on-one -on -one interactions in the state-of-the-art laboratories. The school has uh, started its uh, first semester of science courses in cooperation with the University of uh, Roma 3 here in Rome. And we're very excited to look back at this very first semester. It was a wonderful cooperation where we were capable of combining the American approach, the American background of our students as well as of uh, some of the professors and with the long-standing tradition in sciences that uh, we can find here in Italy. One of the particular courses that we introduced were not just the sciences, so we offered courses in biology, in biological sciences, molecular genetics, but all the students that came to Rome also had to take a course in Italy's contribution to modern science, which is a kind of a history philosophy course that uh, brings the students to understand what Italy has provided to the world. There were people like Leonardo da Vinci, but a lot of mathematicians such as Fibonacci, who brought us the, the Hindu Arabic number system, or a lot of uh, anatomists in Salerno and Bologna, who forwarded the, the knowledge of all these sciences tremendously. So this course helped the students to understand where science comes from, where scientific thinking comes from. And then throughout the course we also talked about modern science, the modern contributions, people such as Marconi or Fermi in particular. We talked about Fermi because um, we are very close to the facilities where Fermi made his famous discoveries in nuclear physics. So in that context, besides talking about his contributions, we also talked about ethical dilemmas that arise from scientific findings. So at the end, I think uh, reflecting back on this first semester here, we accomplished what uh, LDM set out, namely to provide a scientific education in a country, combine modern sciences with history, but also give students a perspective of the development of scientific thinking and ethical responsibilities. I'm particularly enthusiastic about the cooperation with Roma 3 and all its uh, faculty. We're having a wonderful experience with combining the American and the Italian approach and everybody works with a lot of enthusiasm and we're really bringing out this modern as well as historic aspects of science and uh, I'm in fact looking forward to our future cooperation and having more students come to Rome for this exceptional experience. Now we're on the LDM Florence campus in Palazzo Pucci, one of the most beautiful Renaissance palaces in Florence. This is the newest addition to the LDM Florence campus. I feel so privileged to have been part of such a dynamic school. This year, LDM Florence has many new developments, including new projects, courses, visiting professors, and many other activities. LDM's philosophy is to expose its students to real-life situations within their chosen field. Emphasis is put on providing multidisciplinary perspectives on the common practices, issues and solutions. This emphasis often translates into engaging with professionals from a variety of relevant disciplines. Last semester, the students of Interior Design worked on a brief from the LDM Fashion Department. Their task was to propose the reorganisation of the spaces in which faculty and students meet and work together, often on very different tasks. To produce quality work, the students carried out an in-depth survey inclusive of interviews with fashion department faculty members as well as the student body. This helped them understand the needs of LDM professors and fashion designers alike, as well as their typical activities, which in turn allowed them to propose innovative solutions in the final project. They have an opportunity to meet, collaborate, partner, with other programs, uh, with interior design, with architecture. So, it's so vibrant here. 
There are several new courses that uh, are being offered in the fashion program, in the fashion design, merchandising, and marketing program. And costume design is offered, uh, and it is taught by a very seasoned professional. And it gives students an opportunity to build on their research skills and to be inspired by costume history. Accessory design is another new course that we're offering. And in accessory design, the students are led through the process of designing an accessories line. We offer another new course here at LDM in the Fashion Studies programs. And it's a course that is shared by um, business students as well as fashion students. And the course is luxury management. How wonderful to be taking this course where made in Italy phenomena, made in Italy products, and all of the luxury designers are right here. And the museums, the fashion museums are here. And in some of our textile design courses, students also focus in and are inspired by the luxury brands. So luxury management, it, it, it educates students in this whole process of how branding is created for that particular market. And what is the difference? What does luxury mean? How does it span through so many different product ranges? Because fashion today has become a very broad term. It's not just about apparel, it's not just about textiles. It's about perfume, it's about lifestyle. So uh, students have a, a great opportunity. Um, and of course the faculty, they are from industry and they have extensive experience in their field. Most students who arrive here experience the city, the rich culture here at LDM. They never want to leave. Instituto Lorenzo de Medici is well known for its excellence in the fields of archaeology, conservation, uh, ancient history, provided by the courses on these fields, organized by the School of Liberal Arts and Science in Florence, uh, and more recently also by the collaboration with CAMLES, the Center for Ancient Mediterranean and Near Eastern Studies. The students that come in Florence to follow this course have the unique opportunity to follow really a, a, a path through the ancient civilizations. They can follow courses about history, about mythology, about philology, and about all the aspects of the ancient civilizations. This year, new courses include the Etruscan Civilization, Forensic Anthropology, the Ancient Roots of Italy, and Animals in Antiquity. Although they explore very diverse topics, they share a multidisciplinary approach, using sources from such fields as history, literature, biology, and geography. We have also added a new course in Heritage in Conflict and Heritage for Peace, which will address the current geopolitical developments in the Mediterranean Basin and its vicinity. Students have the opportunity to understand how anthropology can contribute through the examination of the skeleton, human remains, to acquire fundamental scientific and biological information about the past population, but also about the modern individuals. And this course is based on a forensic approach that considers important the legal aspects not only in Italy but also in the huge context of Europe. Students come here in Lorenzo de Medici for in our business department to become aware of the European perspective on business courses and that's what they're mostly interested. Recently we have undergone a very deep review of our course offering. We have courses in five major areas business, marketing, economics, finance and management. Uh, the main characteristic of our uh, department is that our faculty is truly international. We have professors coming from different uh, uh, states and that have a um, real experience uh, in the field uh, and they of course bring that experience in class and students appreciate that. All our courses are designed to give a practical view on business, marketing, or finance. So for example, in our Principles of Finance course, students are giving a portfolio that they have to manage. 
Another thing that we do in our department uh, is to have a constant contact with the local reality. Uh, Italy is well known for the manufacturing industry, which is considered excellent at a global level. And so students may experience that directly, so they see what the made in Italy is and why it is so well known worldwide. I am Veronica Bindi, I'm a visiting professor at Lorenzo de' Medici Institute in Florence, uh, in Italy. And I'm originally from Italy, but in the reality for my scientific work, I've been traveling all over the world. I've been most of my time in CERN in Geneva, in Switzerland, and then I've been collaborating with NASA in Florida and in Houston. And now I'm located and based at the University of Hawaii. So it's really nice for me to come back at my roots, my Italian roots here in Italy. At LDM I teach two courses, one is History of Science and the other one is Physics in the Arts. History of Science is really interesting because it's about how technologies and scientific discoveries impact our life in the past and nowadays. While the other course that is Physics in the Arts is instead making a comparison of how scientists and, and artists, they share the same willingness to study nature, to study the human being, and how they are breaking rules to make new discoveries or to make new pieces of art. What I like about this place and this, the students, they are all in the, one of the best period of their life. So they are really enjoying this experience abroad. They will bring back home a lot of new things and I'm part of it. Being here makes me part of this uh, very rich uh, experience. The school has a program of credited and non-credited internships, which gives the students a chance to build their CV while studying abroad. Both types of internship provide experiential education for our students. The traditional three-credit internships have a strong academic component and the students' progress is tracked on a weekly basis by a supervising LDM professor. The non-credited internships, which are called professional opportunities, are normally centered around a single project, tracking the students' progress through frequent check-ins and on-site visits. Here at Fresco Baldi, I've been able to do social media in the kitchen itself and be behind the scenes with the chef Alessandro and be able to take photos and videos and put them together in my own way, working on video editing skills and um, being able to work with a social media team here at Fresco Baldi. It wasn't only focused on social media, which is something that I really loved. I felt like I was almost shadowing the chefs, the waiters, just seeing how a restaurant flows. It, I realized that it's not only the chefs in the kitchen that make the restaurant, it's everyone as a whole. There's a, a, like, a certain vibe to the restaurants that you have to keep up. It's about pleasing people, it's not only yourself. Not just coming in, eating a meal, and leaving. And that's what I want to bring back and hopefully use at my restaurant one day. We're at the very heart of LDM in Via Fenza 43. The school's premises span the now deconsecrated Church of Knights of Malta, which has been restored by LDM Restoration Department and contains many beautiful works of art. At the beginning of, the sem of this semester, the Lorenzo de' Medici was involved in a special event, the Tuscan uh, Anglo-American Festival, which was organized by the Comune di Firenze. And we had the pleasure uh, of opening up our church, the San Jacopo in Campo Corbolini, to the community of the Florentines. It was a great opportunity in this case to involve our students in a very special event in order to transmit to the local community what they learned during the classes, what they learned in uh, investigating the church and to giving back to the community what they received from uh, staying a semester at our school, at, at the institute. Over the coming months, Restoration students and faculty will be working on a Renaissance fountain and tabernacle, located at the very centre of the San Lorenzo neighbourhood, which is where all the school's premises are based. Part of LDM's mission is to engage with the local community and support its heritage. LDM students have an opportunity to engage with the larger academic community through conferences, lectures and exhibitions, which are organized throughout the academic year in collaboration with LDM's Italian and international partners.
With a great variety of extracurricular activities available to our students, LDM makes it easy to fill out their non-scheduled hours in a meaningful and memorable way. Clubs and activities help students develop their passions and find new ones, give back to the local community and meet new people. Uh, we're here taking pictures today. Uh, this is Photo Club. Um, it's our last session actually. Um, so we're here taking street photos, having some fun. Um, today we are taking photos of people on the streets called street photography. And we are, are encouraged to do it secretly. Every week we have the club and every time we try something new, try to take pictures in a different way and it's kind of opened my eyes to different things I can do with my camera. They were really fun. I've never really done it before, so playing with color was really cool and seeing, seeing what they look like after was really fun. The annual celebration of a student's artistic and academic accomplishments is an excellent opportunity to open the premises and involve members of the public. The school invites discussions about art, history and Italian culture between students, professors, residents and visitors. actually shown work before in the past at Palazzo Vecchio and I have a painting that's currently on display in a contemporary art museum in Greece through the school and then I have two paintings that are on display right now in Florence um, and in the past I've also shown work in the Piazza di San Lorenzo so lots of positive experience from here. The teachers were just really really amazing like they challenge you but they also let you pursue the things that you want to pursue and support you so I am I think I've grown a lot more in this one semester than you know I had since the one and a half year back in college, which was, I love my school back though, but this one, I really grew a lot. I'm so glad I came. It's really nice, yeah. Here at Instituto Lorenzo de Medici, we are very proud of our contribution to the students' personal and academic growth. By expanding our course offering as well as our extracurricular activities, we hope to attract as many students from diverse academic backgrounds as possible and foster cultural exchange within the student community. You can find other student testimonials on our website. Or if you're a current or former LDM student, we encourage you to join our network. Follow us on our social media channels to stay up to date. Thank you for watching and arrivederci.